Hey there, everyone. It is a rainy November day, and uh, Thanksgiving just around the corner here. So I've got a fun one. Um, this is Pete the Cat, The First Thanksgiving by Kimberly and James Dean. And this is, uh, it's not a pop-up book, it's a lift the flap book. So it's got little windows that you open up here. So let's see how Pete the Cat does the first Thanksgiving. Pete was nervous about being a pilgrim in his class's Thanksgiving play. The first Thanksgiving, just do your best, his best friend Callie said. Happy Thanksgiving, it says up here. Pete said he would try. He, he was ready. His mom had even made him a pilgrim hat, which was really cool. You want to see the pilgrim hat? Oh, there it is right there. <clears throat> Pete took his place at the front of the giant ship that his class had made out of cardboard. Pete was a pilgrim on the Mayflower. And then look what happens here. See how the sails are up? You know, the sails are down, yeah. That's cool. In 1620, a group of pilgrims decided to leave England for the new world to build a new life. It was a long, long trip on a big, big ship, all the pilgrims sang. Ready for this page here? Ooh. It's getting stormy there. The sea was rough and very dangerous. Many pilgrims got very, very sick. Ooh. Getting seasick. <clears throat> the dream of a new start in a new world made the hard trip all worth it. For more than two months, the pilgrims sailed. So here's a calendar. And it says here, September 6th, they, they set out from Plymouth, England. And, oh, look at all that. They landed on, it was uh, November 1620, so it was a long time ago. It was back when I first started teaching. They wondered if they would ever get there. I had heard that that big sail ship, because of the rough seas, it was going about two to three miles an hour, which is about like the speed that you walk. That's pretty slow. After 65 days on the ship, the new world finally came into view. So let's see what here. Land ho! Land ho, Pete cried. All the pilgrims did a happy dance. Yeah, land ho, land ho. The pilgrims arrived in the New World at Plymouth Rock in what is now Massachusetts. Everyone had many chores to do, like growing food, finding water. What's Pete doing there? And building shelters. Yeah, they got there, you know, in mid mid November. It's like the weather's not going to be that great for building. The first winter in the New World was long and hard. Let's see what it says here. Oh, that looks nice. In the spring, the pilgrims had to decide whether to give up and go back to England or keep trying. What do you think they did? What would you do? You don't fail until you give up. The pilgrims had heard about the Native Americans and many worried that they would not be friendly. Pete had never met a cat he didn't like, so he thought that they would be kind. So there's a Native American with some corn, and what's he going to do with Oh, shaking hands with Pete. Pilgrim Pete, yeah. Pete was right. He made a new friend in Squanto. Squanto and the other Native Americans showed the pilgrims how to grow crops like corn, beans, and squash. This page has got two... Two flips here. Oh, ho, ho, look at that. So little plants. Got some corn. It says, by summer, the pilgrims had learned how to farm the new land. So they had to learn how to do some stuff, too. What's this here? Oh, 
got some squash. Oh, this is good squash. I like that. By fall harvest, the pilgrims had plenty of food. To thank Squanto and the other Native Americans, the pilgrims invited them to share the harvest. I have a feeling I know it's going to come up here. we got empty table and... Oh! This celebration became known as the first Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. A lot to be thankful for. He was relieved when the play was over. He had remembered all his lines. Wow, I never thought about how hard it was back then, said Pete. Oh, are they taking a bow? You did great, Callie said. Pete, good job. <clears throat> Later at Thanksgiving dinner with his family, Pete said, let's all go around the table and say something we are thankful for. So here's the mom. What's Pete's mom going to be thankful? Oh, look at that. I'm thankful thankful for my family, said Pete's mom. Yeah. What's Pete? Oh, that's Bob. I'm thankful for my skateboard, said Bob. Okay. And then Pete here, it says, what are you thankful for? I am thankful for the brave pilgrims that started this new free world, said Pete. Look at that turkey and corn. That looks good. All right. And you know one of the things I'm thankful for? I'm thankful for all these great Pete the Cat books. Those are so cool. All right, guys. See you later. Tomorrow, I think I've got the actual story about Squanto. It's a real, oh, I got it right here. Look at this. Squanto's journey. That's a good one, too. See ya.